IIT Bombay 2022. Recognized worldwide as a leader in the field of engineering education and research, was established in 1958. It is ranked number 3 in Best Global Universities in India, number 127 in Best Global Universities in Asia, number 594 in Best Global Universities according to usnews.com. This is a post from your favorite education guide, College Suggest. Know your course, know your career. Click on the subscribe button and the bell icon to receive notifications on your favorite courses and careers. In this video, we're going to review IIT Bombay for the academic year 2022 and compare statistics over the past three years of approved student intake rates, courses offered, graduation and placement information, infrastructure, and other factors. Keep watching to know more information. IIT Bombay is identified as one of the top technical universities in the world. The campus, located in Povai, is nestled amidst hills and two lakes. The location and nature adds to a perfect surrounding where new ideas will flourish. It is a fully residential institute with excellent amenities for sports and other facilities. It offers 8 UG courses and 40 PG courses in total. Now let's examine the details about the statistics of approved student intake rate for the past three years for various degree programs. We are displaying the data submitted by IIT Bombay to NIRF for the academic year 2022. From the data shown, the approved student intake rate for the UG four-year program for 2022 at IIT Bombay is 910. In 2021, it was 773 and in 2020, it was 729. Compared to 2020, in 2021, there was a 5.7% increase and compared to 2021, in 2022, there has been a 17.72% increase in the approved intake. For the UG 5-year program, the approved student intake rate for 2022 is 211. In 2021, it was 178. In 2020, it was 168. Compared to 2020, in 2021, there was a 5.62% increase and compared to 2021, in 2022, there has been an 18.54% increase in the approved student intake rate. Now let's delve into student stats info at IIT Bombay. The student community is a big pillar for any institution. IIT Bombay accommodates a total of 6,617 students pursuing all degree programs. The percentage of the male community stands at 84.99% and that of the female community stands at 15.01%. Now let us look at the distribution of the students based on their locations who are studying at IIT Bombay. Among the total of 6,617 students, 1,817 are from within the state, 4,719 are from outside the state, and 81 are from outside the country. Now, let's look at the graduation percentage rate of students for the past three years. For the academic year 2020, the graduation percentage for the UG four-year program was 92.34%. For 2021, it was 85.61%, and for 2022, it is 89.88%. Comparing the data for all three years, there has been a decrease in the graduation percentage. The graduation percentage for the UG five-year program in 2020 was 91.58%. 2021, it was 93.26%, and in 2022, it is 98.36%. Comparing the last three years of data, there has been an increase in the graduation percentage for this degree program. For the academic year 2022, a total of 122 full-time PhD students and 150 part-time PhD students will be graduating. Next, let's look at the placement percentage record. Students graduating from IIT Bombay have gotten jobs in big tech companies and with good salary packages. For the UG four-year program, the placement percentage for 2020 was 87.75%. In 2021, it was 90.14% and in 2022, it is 85.09%. For the UG five-year program in 2020, it was 92.41%. In 2021, it was 89.92% and in 2022, it is 80%. Now let's look into the median salary package received by students at IIT Bombay. Placement drive in IIT is always the headlines, as the salary packages offered to IITNs are high. According to the data, in 2020, UG four-year students' median salary package offered was 11.7 lakhs. In 2021, it was 13 lakhs, and in 2022, it is 15 lakhs. Comparing all three years of data, there has been a consistent increase in the median salary offered to the students. 
For the UG 5 year students, the median salary in 2020 was 12 lakhs. In 2021, it was 12.97 lakhs. And in 2022, it was 16.38 lakhs. Comparing all three years of data, there has been an increase in the median salary package offered during the placement drive at IIT Bombay. Next, we're going to look at the capital expenditure data for the academic year 2022. The total capital expenditure spent for 2022 is 143 crores, and this is inclusive of purchases made by the library, new equipment, organizing workshops, and creation of capital assets. For this total sum, 21.43% was spent on library resources and 64.11% was spent on buying new equipment. 0.79% was spent in planning and organizing workshops and 13.67% was spent in building new seminars and conference halls as well as improvising classroom infrastructure. Comparing the last three years' expenditure data, IIT Bombay has a slight reduction in the total capital expenditure done in 2022 compared to 2021 and 2020. Now let's further look at the operational expenditure done by IIT Bombay. The total amount spent for operational expenses for the academic year 2022 is 367 crores. From this total sum, 66.72% was spent towards salary for teaching and non-teaching staff. 32.72% was spent for the maintenance of academic infrastructure and other running expenditure. 0.57% was spent on organizing seminars, conferences and workshops. Comparing the last three years of data, the operational expenditure done by IIT Bombay is consistent. Next, let's take a look at the patents published and granted to IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay is one of the top centers of academic excellence in the country, with a rapid increase in both academic and research activities. It is a known fact that the institute publishes lots of patents useful for research and other purposes. In 2020, a total of 115 patents were published and 108 were granted. In 2019, 142 patents were published and 60 were granted. In 2018, 63 patents were published and 37 were granted. All of this data indicates that IIT Bombay is continuously progressing in developing new products. Now let's explore the details about the sponsored research funds obtained by IIT Bombay. IIT Bombay is expanding continuously and trying to obtain more sponsored research funds for performing research and developing new products useful for government and private industries. For the academic year 2022, they received a total of 179 crores from 170 funding agencies for completing 521 projects. In 2021, the institute received Rs 229 crores from 185 funding agencies for completing 622 projects. In 2020, they received a total of Rs 229 crores from 149 agencies for completing 563 projects. When we compare the past three years, there has been a decrease in the funds received from sponsored projects. Now, let's explore the funds received from consultancy projects. For the academic year 2022, IIT Bombay received a total of Rs 460 crores from 388 organizations for 532 projects. In 2021, they received a total of 596 crores from 484 clients to complete 720 projects. In 2020, a total of Rs 756 crores was received from 528 clients to complete 733 projects. When we compare the past three years, there has been a decrease in the funds received from consultancy projects. Now let's get some insights about the faculty data and the fee structure. IIT Bombay comprises a total of 826 faculty members, out of which 96.97% are PhD holders. The faculty to student ratio is 1 is to 8. The approximate first semester fees for a student studying a UG course at IIT Bombay is Rs 1,14,050 and the approximate average total fee for completing a degree costs Rs 8,45,200. Please note that the fee structure mentioned is subject to variation. IIT Bombay, renowned for its academic research and innovations, has developed an online platform, IIT Bombay Infinite, to offer massive open online courses for individuals from various backgrounds. The alumni of IIT Bombay have successfully secured jobs across a lot of different sectors and top companies. The strength of IIT Bombay is its distinguished faculty, where some of them have been awarded national awards such as the Padma Shri, Shanti Swarup Bhatnagar Prize, and so many more. We hope we've given you all the insights you need about IIT Bombay for the academic year 2022. 
What is the course that you want to pursue next? Tell us. We will provide all the information that you need to prove your decision right. If you agree with our analysis, show us a thumbs up. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and for more information, visit collegesuggest.com.